I'm Brad Al-Sherry, a laboratory technologist at King Fahad Medical City, uh, faculty of medicine. Uh, my colleagues and I have done recently a study about uh, effective crystallization on plas uh, room temperature plasticated brain slices. Um, our study concluded that we uh, that the effects of uh, crystallization might be a cause uh, of uh, fungal contamination. Uh, the majority of our tests were uh, positive on uh, species of uh, common um, fungal, airborne fungals. The feathery crystallizations are seen widely around the, the white matter of the brain, as we can see here, clearly here. Different brains have different levels of crystallization. The vercon we use is a powder form, comes in a powder form. We use about 30 grams per liter of water. We mix uh, the vercon, we pour it in the water, instantly turns the water into a pink color. You can see particles of vercon are dissolving. It gives us a bright pink color. This pink color will determine our freshness of vercon. The vercon can only last for seven days, so we have to make, uh, for best use, we have to make it fresh every time we're going to disinfect anything. Okay, now we start the treatment of the uh, crystallization of the plastinated brain slices. First of all, I have to warn you that do not attempt to brush or move the, or flick off the crystallization on the brain slice because it will fly everywhere and it uh, might be a danger to inhale. Now we start with submerging the brain slice under uh, in a bathtub. Just give it a little bath. And with a small brush, with a big brush actually, we have to move all the crystallization off the brain slice. Now we have a very smooth brain surface. We can see how all the crystallization is gone. Now it's time to disinfect using 3% vercon solution, that is uh, 30 grams of vercon powder for each one liter. Uh, this will help us disinfect the brain slice from any leftover fungus, if there is any. After a few dunks, we place it on a holder to wait for it to dry. It takes about one day or two days to finish drying. Thank you for watching this demonstration. I hope you found this information very useful. Until we meet again, take care of your brains.